So we are here to get our people to repentance. Our brothers got to realize they're the mightiest thing that God put on this earth. And it's time for us to leave. take a soul, stand fast in the faith. People need me, so I can't fall. We trying to elevate Enoch or Elijah for the Messiah. Keeping commandments, not try even fire. You filthy if you full of sin. The kingdom you won't enter in. Why she making clean for the husband comes to clean? These well, women I'm are tired of it. Rest, so I'll make it plain. Messiah coming only for the elect. You better walk circumspect on the highways and hedges. Purge that spiritual house of all heaven. Charge of a prophet. They think they're tired. Of they are the tired. Brothers, Charge where you at? Of a prophet. Charge of a prophet. Gotta stay the lost soul. Who's the king? Right. Who's the king? Right. What time is it? What? Oh, hey, sister, how you doing? What's your name, sister Angela? Angelique. Oh, my sister's name almost like that. How you doing? You got any questions? Feel from more to free. Why did that happen? You got that question? Come here, sis. Come closer. Look, we look we look just like you. We your brothers. We ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. Alright? Oh, why did it happen? Okay. Alright, let me get Deuteronomy 28. But you gotta listen. You gotta listen. Here you go. Check it out, sis. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let me get uh, 28 and 1. Verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. All right, time out. What just happened there? We was given a what? An ultimatum, right? Do you have kids, sis? Uh, you got nieces and nephews? All right, come close right, so I can uh, dialogue with you. You got nieces and nephews, right? Now, growing up, seeing how your siblings raised your nieces and nephews, they told them, look, if y'all behave, y'all do good, I'm going to buy you a toy, buy you some candy, you know, take you out somewhere nice, right? Or, and, or like, now what happens if those same kids act up? What happens if they was being disrespectful? They was cleaning their room. They was talking back. What would happen? They get a whooping, right? So what was that? That's a choice. It said if you listen and do what you're supposed to do, you're going to get all this good stuff. If you ain't listening, you're going to get a whooping, right? What choice do you think we made? Because now you got to remember, look at this. Who is your father? Your actual heavenly father. The most high God. So it's a father and children relationship. Right? So now the Most High is our Father. He gave us the ultimatum. Like, listen, y'all listen to me. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna like the things that I give you. If you don't listen, you're gonna get a whooping. And it's gonna be a whooping from God. Let me ask you. You look at the way we live in. What choice do you think we made? The whooping. The, the, the wrong one, right? Let's prove that. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, start of verse 16. Let's see the first lash of that whooping. You know, when that belt about to come and crack, let's see what that first whooping is. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So let me ask you, sis. <clears throat> Black folks. And Hispanic folks and Native Indians. We was cursing the field, right? But the Bible just said that. But what does that mean? How are we cursing the field? You ever saw uh, 12 Years a Slave? You saw that movie? You saw Roots? You saw that movie? What about, what's another movie? Look at the, look at the flyer. Look at Birth of a uh, You ever saw Birth of a Nation? Django. Django. You saw Django. I know you saw Django and Jamie Foxx. Where were they at? They was working where? In the field. Did you think Was they having a good time? That was a bad time, wasn't it? That was a curse. Now the question is, how in the world are we, are, are we, was we getting ruled over by some people that we better than? How did that happen? The only way that we would find ourselves in those circumstances is if we sinned against an all-powerful God. That's right. That's the only way we, we, such as a greater people we are, 
find ourselves at the bottom is if we sin against the Most High God. Now, the scripture says it was cursed in the field. What does that mean? We was getting uh, beaten. We was getting raped. We was getting murdered. All this picking cotton. We, so much more to pick cotton. We was picking tobacco. We was building houses. Matter of fact, you, you, who built the White House? Black folks, right? Who well, you know, you see all these people in slavery suffering. Let me ask you, you think when they was working the field, you think they had breaks? You think they're like, hey, I'll take my 15 minute union break? You think they can say that? Nah, it wasn't no breaks. You worked till you died. Jeez. That's a curse, right? Now, what happens in these in these communities? Are, are we not shot down in the street? Are we not subjugated to all this type of drugs and violence? Are we not looking around, seeing all this trash and garbage and despair? So now we curse in the we was cursed in the field as you agreed to, and now from the life you live in, we was cur we're cursing the city, right? So did that scripture come to pass? Did that actually happen? Like, look at it. Look at. Let me show you something. Look at that. That's all. That's slavery. Look. As a matter of fact, hold up the slavery sign. I'm gonna show you something. Like, look at these things right here. Right, what, what, what's going on right there, sis? You see our people suffering. You see our people getting beat. You see them, look at that. The Arabs is enslaving us. The, the, the Africans is enslaving us. The European man is enslaving us. Watch this, I'm gonna show you this uh, imagery right here. You remember it says, cursed be in the field and in the city? Look at that. that. Did that happen or did that not happen? So let me ask you this. If the Bible was just made up and it's a fairy tale, how did they tell the future before it happened? That means it had to have come by an all-powerful God. Yes, Lord. Sent, to, to, sent, sent to the prophets to deliver to the people. You understand that? So let me ask you, by your own admission, did that happen? That happened, right? Read on, verse uh, 17. Verse 17. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. So black-owned businesses, are they doing real good here? Nah, they barely making it. You see that this, so this is showing you the Bible is a real book. Why am I bringing out these curses? Go to uh, verse 46. Why am I bringing out curses? What does that mean to you? Listen. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses, right, is going to be upon you for a sign. How do you know there's checkers right there? Bring it out. It's a sign, right? It lets you know who it's checkers. How do you know that that's a liquor store? It's a sign, right? How do we know who the children of Israel are? God's chosen people. By the signs of what they're going through. That's right. You understand? So the scripture says that these people sinned a long time ago. And they're going to be at the bottom of society. They're going to forget who they are. They're going to be cursing the field. Slaving away. All that stuff like that. Right. Who does that sound like? sound like us that is the sign to let you know who you are hold on brother listen read, read on because thou servest not the lord thy god with joyfulness and with gladness of the heart so time out we thought these laws is grievous yeah. because thou servest not the lord thy god with joyfulness and with gladness of heart so because we thought that these laws is grievous what happened for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Sis, you, you guys, you go to work every day? All right, so uh, you in school, right? And when you graduate from school, you hope to get a job, right? Who you going to work for? Uh, who? Say it, say it loud. A white person, huh? That's messed up. So you're telling me that you have to go spend your money, get educated, and just hope and pray you can work for a white man. Dang. You, you know deep down that's messed up. You know it is. Bring it out. Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So in hunger, sis, when you go to, let's say, a grocery store, Jewels or Aldi's or Trader Joe's, right, to feed your stomach and to feed your, your, your family, who you got to go to for food? Who own them grocery stores? White folks. Not, not us. The other nations. And guess what? If you just so happen to go to a black-owned grocery store, who are they paying taxes to? Cheap. Exactly. So now, again, you think this is normal? 
when you really put it into perspective, we like, dang, we really in a bad situation. Read on. And in thirst, in thirst, says, if you, you if your mouth is parched and you need water and you need to go to get some Aquafina, Ice Mountain, Fiji, or if you need to pay your water bill, who is getting that money from your pocket into their pocket? So is now you start to realize what well, but hold on. What did the Bible call these people? Your enemy. They are not your friend. Right. Right? Read on. And in nakedness, sis, we're gonna even get further. The outfit you got on to clothe your own body, who owns that company? So now, put it all back into perspective. The same people who raped, murdered, robbed us, took your nationality, told you it wasn't nothing, called you a nigga, right? The same people, guess what? If you thirsty, you got to go to them and beg them for some water. If you hungry, you got to go to their grocery stores and give them some, uh, some money for some food. And if you ain't got no clothes on your body, you got to say, you got to go to them and be like, please clothe me. That's a shame. That's not, that's something to further destroy us. That's to give us no confidence, no no type of meaning. That's to destroy you mentally in every aspect of that form. And, but I'm going to show you something even more crazy. Read on. <clears throat> and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Time out, sis. This right here. A yoke of iron, right? What's that around his neck? Yeah, this is a, a yoke is something that yokes around and it's made out of iron. Look at it. Look what he got around his neck. Look at that. What's that that he got around his neck? Hey brother, make sure you're looking too. What's that he got around his neck? A yoke of iron, right? So let me ask you, why did the slaves have to have that yoke of iron around their neck? Because they knew who our enemy was. And they was like, we gotta get up out of here. We gotta escape from this condition. But watch this. Until Hold on. That means it, until means it's not on forever. Do you have a yoke? Do you have a chain on your neck? Does he have a chain on his neck? Does he have a chain on his neck? No. Let's see when that chain on that yoke of iron was taken off. Until he have destroyed thee. Until he had destroyed us, meaning he literally made us into the perfect slave. Right. But we don't even know we slaves anymore. Right. Like you, I, when you went to high school, you heard about like Harriet Tubman, right? Do you know when she was trying to free the slaves, some of them was trying to fight her to stay? And she said a very famous quote. She said, I freed thousands of slaves. And I would have freed thousands more if only that they knew that they were slaves. See? You understand that? So we no longer have to have the chains on our neck because we think we free. And it's a lie. of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.